What is up Tygon Squad and today I'm using DU Recorder and ES Explorer along with a fake British accent to show you how to get rid of annoying pop-up ads on just about any Android app or game. I don't know if you've noticed this but it's especially annoying when you're disconnected from Wi-Fi and still see them. I noticed this a few years ago, normally if an app had too many ads I would just turn off the Wi-Fi but now you still receive ads even whilst offline which got me thinking. The only way this is possible is if the ads have been downloaded on your phone. I've devised a simple yet effective way to combat this. I hope you enjoy. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I use both these apps personally and daily. I would never recommend an app or product of any kind to you guys that I don't believe in or haven't tested myself. By the way, before we begin, make sure you download ESC Explorer. No, this only works on traditional ads. I'll show you an example later on. Now yes, yes, you can download an APK version that takes out the ads, but this is much simpler and quicker, not to mention safer. I recommend using this for those mini games or apps on the Play Store with ads it's just so plentiful it ruins the experience for gaming or makes the app nearly unusable. Step 1. Download ES File Explorer as it allows you to navigate through your files more easily and organizes your information better than stock Android. Once the app is finished installing, choose the app that you wish to perform the operation on. Step 2. Turn off your Wi-Fi. Don't turn it off if you're following along, of course. Now, if you were stubborn and you did not download ES Explorer, you will be in kind of a rude awakening because unlike stock Android, ES Explorer gives you a icon of the file that you're searching through. So let's say the application is Temple Run and you're searching through Temple Run and you see the icon, you know that's the particular file. But if you were just running stock Android File Explorer, you wouldn't see that, you would just see com.temporun and the developer name, probably com.developer name, then temporun, because I forgot, uh, I think it was Imagi, I think it's Imagi Studios, of course, so com.imagi studios, temporun. And I mean, yeah, that's simple, but it's way easier using ES Explorer because all you have to do is look for the little icon. Anyway, let's continue. Step three. Open ES File Explorer File Manager app. Select Internal Storage. Select Android. Select Data. Scroll down until you find the app and select it. Look through the files in Cache, Find and Delete the ads. I recommend looking in the Unity and AL file folders. If you do not see those, look around for other known ad providers file folders. A good way to remember them for future use is to look at the logo or insignia when you see the ads in your games and then come back to this and delete them. Step four, last but not least, clear the cache either through ES or the app settings. Note, this may only last until the app updates again, so be sure to repeat this. Note, this only works on pop-up ads, so when I was playing the Plank game, I could not remove the TikTok ad at the bottom. I'm not sure how to do it yet, but I'll keep looking into it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Tigon out.